guys. Welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys how to root the Kindle Fire. Uh, why would you really need root access for this device? Uh, one of the main reasons is eventually it will have Clockwork Mod Recovery and you can install custom ROMs. Uh, we could load Ice Cream Sandwich or Honeycomb onto this tablet and have a $200 full-fledged Android tablet. Um, other reasons would be you know, different modifications that you could do. You could do custom theming. Uh, like I said, custom ROMing, you can run Root Explorer, you can sideload the Android market, and uh, several different things that you can do with Root Access. Uh, so here I have my Kindle Fire. And just to show you guys, I don't have Root on here. We'll go to Root Checker and Verify Root. So it's, sorry, you do not have Root Access. And so uh, what we'll do is go ahead and plug this into our computer via the USB cable. And as soon as this little message pops up, we'll just hit disconnect, and we'll set this to the side. Then we'll come over to the computer. Uh, you'll want to download the android.zip pack uh, from the link in the description. And what you'll end up with is uh, this little file here. So you'll right click on that and go to extract files. Uh, make sure that the path here is C drive colon forward slash users forward slash uh, whatever your user is here uh, for me it's Shane and Whitney so whatever you are you'll go ahead and put that there and then you'll go to uh, forward slash dot like a, a period here and then Android and it's closing out on me it, it, it has done this before I have to be quick about it so we'll close it out try it again Okay, so <clears throat> you'll extract files and you go to C drive users, whoever your user is, forward slash dot android, select OK. And I already have it here, so I'm going to say uh, no to all. I don't re really want to replace those. Okay, so once you have that done, you're going to go to the computer, right click that, go to manage, and check device manager. Um, I've already installed the driver software, so when I click under Android phones, I have Android Composite ADB interface. You'll have like an other devices here, and you'll select your Kindle. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do it here, and we'll go update driver software is what you want to do next. Browse my computer, and you go let me pick from a list of device drivers. And then you'll go to have disk, and then you'll browse, and you're browsing to... Uh, your user and the dot android that you just installed so you go ahead and click that Let's see double click it to open it and then go to driver open that and then you'll select open and you'll select OK then you'll select next and it's gonna go ahead and install that driver software and so just give it about uh, just a few seconds there and it should say Android Composite ADB interface uh, was successfully installed. You'll close this. And it says you must restart your computer for these changes to take effect. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. But before we do that, uh, let's go ahead and download the, uh, the Super One Click. Go ahead and download that. It's also in the link in the description and uh, make a folder here on your computer and to extract that to and then you'll go ahead and reboot your computer and I will pause this and we'll come back as soon as it's done rebooting hey guys welcome to the DMX show I'm your host Shane and a lot of you guys with the Kindle Fire you probably received the 6.2.2 update they kinda do things over the air so if you're on Wi-Fi and asleep or something it's gonna hit you and you're not even gonna know about it and when you wake up you're gonna be unrooted your Android market is going to be gone, and uh, as well as your twerp recovery, it's all been washed away. So now you're back to your stock Android on your Kindle Fire, and the old process of rooting doesn't work anymore, right? So I'm going to show you guys how to root your Kindle Fire, and uh, this will work on any Kindle Fire version 6.2.2. And uh, so we'll go ahead and get started with that. Go to the link in the description, you'll find uh, droidmonitorx.com slash kindlefire. On this page, 
you have all of your downloads you need to download these three files and then wherever these three files go probably in your user download folder we'll find that we'll navigate there so for me I'll go to documents and downloads I'm sorry I'll go to my download folder and in in here I need to open up a command prompt so I'll go with shift and right click and open a command window here so now that I've got my command window open here all I have to do is copy and paste my command lines of course we do need to go ahead and plug in our Kindle Fire or nothing's gonna work right okay so we'll plug in our Kindle Fire and we'll disconnect here and once that's all set up just kind of set it to the side there and we need to copy and paste all this stuff here so ADB push burrito and we'll paste that hit enter okay so that was pushed successfully and we'll just move on very simple very easy you need to have your SDK set up already or uh, at least have ADB access and hopefully I can tag I have a on an earlier video I show you guys how to set up the ADB so hopefully I can just go ahead and edit and put that in there then you go ADB root enter ADB shell ID enter okay so if you'll be looking here at the UID if it says zero then you'll just continue if not you need to start that whole process over so it says zero we're gonna continue ADB remount Remount succeeded. ADB push is the next one. We'll just go through and continue. That was pushed successfully. Just go ahead and copy the next line until we're finished. And the next line. Then the next line, ADB remount. And the last line, ADB install superuser.apk. If you already have superuser on your device, you don't even have to do this, but we'll go ahead and do it anyways. And it says failure install fail because it already exists. So on my device, it already exists. Um, but now we're rooted. Okay, so we'll go and open up root check on the device, and we should now be rooted. And it says, Congra congratulations, you have root access. So now we're, we are rooted on the Kindle Fire with uh, JCase's Burrito Root version 2. That's JCase of RootsWiki.com that provided us with that root method. So we want to make sure that we give big, huge props and shout-outs to Justin Case of RootsWiki and Android Police. Uh, brought us the new root method, and it works flawlessly. So we're very proud to have that on our Kindle Fires, and we send out a... A shout out to JCase. Thanks, buddy, for providing that for us. Guys, you can find me on droidmoderx.com where I'll have all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android device. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E9 of 3 and be sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks, guys.